Here we see a model of the different types of blood cells. Uh, I'm going to show you a little hand-drawn deal here for a second. This uh, silly thing on the left there says, never let monkeys eat bananas. Well, what that is, is just kind of a mnemonic so that you can remember the sequence of the uh, different white blood cells. So you see those white blood cells listed in the middle there, neutrophil, lymphocyte, monocyte, eosinophil, basophil, they have the same first letter as the mnemonic. And then on the right, you see if they are a granulocyte or an agranulocyte, that is, if they have granules in their, in their uh, cytoplasm or not. And I'll post this later. So let's look at these guys. First of all, let's look at the, at the red blood cells. So all these little red circles are what they call erythrocytes. So erythrocytes are just another, the fancy way of saying red blood cell. And these guys are the ones that carry your oxygen and uh, some carbon dioxide back. <clears throat> and they are by far the most common cells in your blood. Uh, these little blue specks that you see here, these are called platelets. Uh, another name for platelets is thrombocyte because a thrombus is a clot and platelets function in clotting. Now let's go to these other bigger sort of more fancy looking cells. These fall under the class of cells called leukocytes and leukocytes are just another way of saying white blood cells. Now I know there's a lot of terminology in here but uh, you'll have a list. So let's go from the let's go with the the leukocytes from the most common down to the least common. So the, the never part, neutrophil, these guys are, uh, they have these multi-lobar uh, nuclei. See how there's lots of different lobes in these things. Another name for them, which I won't be using, is polymorphonuclear leukocyte. So that's a mouthful, but polymorphonuclear means many shape uh, nucleus. But I'm gonna call them neutrophils. Neutrophils' jobs are primarily phagocytosis. So phagocytosis is consumption of other cells, just like, you know, they, they go around and scarf them up. So they'll scarf up bacteria or fungal cells or anything else that might be in your body that you don't want. Uh, lymphocytes, so never let. Lymphocytes are these little guys here. And now there's slightly different shapes, but on this model, they're all kind of represented by this sort of big round nucleus with a little bit of cytoplasm evident uh, around the, the periphery. So these guys are, uh, are leuco I'm sorry, lymphocytes. And this is what they look like in a, under a microscope too, and I'll, I'll give you guys, you'll ha you have that uh, available to you. Uh, oh, lymphocytes, by the way, are, they function in your immune system in general. They produce antibody, uh, they coordinate your immune function and some of them even attack uh, infected or cancerous cells. So if you've got a virus, uh, you're gonna leave it up to a certain type of lymphocyte to, to kill the cells that have that virus. Never let monkeys, so now we're going to monocytes. Monocytes are these big cells. Notice how I'm doing the, the mnemonic myself because that's how I remember them. So monocytes are these big cells and they're, they're generally bigger than all the other cells and they usually have this sort of kidney bean shaped nucleus. This guy kind of looks, you're just looking at it from the side, so it doesn't look kidney bean shaped, but if you turned this cell somehow that way, you'd see that kidney bean shape. So big cell, uh, big nucleus, usually with this sort of, you know, crescent shape or kidney bean shape. Uh, monocytes are phagocytes, and they, that, they go around scarfing up other cells, and they also can migrate out of your bloodstream into your other tissues, and they become what's called a macrophage and a macrophage is just a big eater macrophage <clears throat> so these guys are phagocytes in the blood and outside um, let monkeys eat so now we're going to eosinophils eosinophils are I don't know if it really shows up here but these little uh, granules in here are red so they they kind of dye red under a particular stain so uh, and usually they've got a bilobar nucleus and with the red, with the red uh, granules in there. Eosinophils are neat. They phagocytize also, but they also have a specialist job where they, uh, they lice, which is to, to pop. They lice parasitic worms. And you might think, why would I care about lysing parasitic worms? Well, you've got worms. I'm just gonna let you know right now. Uh, these little nematodes are really common all over the planet and in m most organisms. So the, 
running population of worms that you contract or uh, and fight off are, are killed off by these eosinophils. Uh, never let monkeys eat bananas. So bananas, there's only one banana here, and that's the basophil. So this little guy down here in the bottom left is a basophil. They are characterized by lots of little dark granules. Under a microscope, they almost look sort of black because of the number of granules that you see there. But uh, these cells are, again, specialists in production of a molecule called histamine. And you've probably heard of histamine as the suffix to antihistamine. While you take the antihistamine pills to reduce the amount of histamine you're uh, producing or the effect of the histamine if you're having it like allergies. So histamine is a good thing for you because it causes what's called the inflammatory response, which is a general swelling and in, you know heat uh, redness of tissue that allows other white blood cells to rush to that area and uh, fight infection. So basophils produce his histamine and also another molecule called heparin. And heparin is just a, a sort of a standard anticoagulant, which is also good when you're fighting off a, uh, an infection because you don't want to clot. So anticoagulants prevent clotting. The stuff around here, by the way, all this, this yellow background just represents the plasma, which is the liquid portion of your blood. And, uh, uh, you know, it's the medium through which those cells are, are transported. 